What's up guys, Glenn here back on the Function Power Sports YouTube. Today, we have a special guest. What's going on guys, Josh from ProBuild here and hello, Function Power Sports enthusiasts. How are you guys doing? Well, comment down below and let us know. And uh, <laughs> we're here with another this or that video, which we've done just one time before. And it's literally picking this or that. And we'll talk a little bit about why we picked what option we do. And Melissa, our videographer behind the camera, is gonna throw these questions at us and we've not seen the list. So we have no clue what's coming at us. No I clue mean, at all. Are, are you ready for is this? Is this gonna be about like power sports? Yeah, anything we just ATV, like... UTV okay. related and there might okay. be some randomness. Right. But again, we have no clue. You guys need Do anything it. for your off-road yeah. vehicle, trail built off-road. Yeah. Jeeps, Toyotas, SUVs, four by fours, off-road rigs, whatever you guys got, check them out. You need some wheels and tires, trailbuiltoffroad.com. Heck yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> First one is going to be Honda versus Yamaha. Dang, that's like tough because mm. depends. Are we talking sport quads, utility, UTV? I have a pick between those three. Honda, like, so Honda versus Yamaha? Yep. Hmm. I have no Should idea. Should we just spill out what, we, <laughs> what we're going to say? I'm going to go with Yamaha. Okay. What, what are you going to pick? Well, I'm going to go with Yamaha as well because number one is I don't know a whole lot about yeah. the UTV power sports scene and the, the, the vehicles themselves, but. Think older ATVs too. Well, to yeah, kind of and that's, that that's kind of what I'm going with is, you know, Yamaha has always been a pretty decent brand and I think there was some kind of, I don't know, not a collaboration, but some sort of collusion between Yamaha and like Bombardier. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's what they used. So like K&M now is like we all know it used yes. to be Bombardier Yamaha, or however you say right. it. Right, and so I think Yamaha is now a branch off of them. So. But I don't know a whole lot about the Honda UTV Power Sports side right. of things, but I do know Honda is also a good brand too, but well, I like Yamaha. We got him to Team Yamaha today is what we're getting at. <laughs> I guess my biggest reasoning is I grew up running Yamaha race quads and then just hmm. Yamaha has always been that brand to the biggest bore machines through the years. Like mm -hmm. back when the 660 came out and the Grizzly for utility ATV, the Raptors hmm. with 660 and 700cc sport quads, they've always been the first to go crazy sport. So whereas okay. Honda is a little more laid back, more reliable more conservative. work machines. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. So that's why I went with Yamaha. I used to be a diehard Yamaha guy. Now, now I'm Can-Am. Would you rather go mud riding or sand dune riding? Oh, that's tough. Both yeah, that is a fun. tough question. In my experience so far of life, I haven't done a lot of dune riding. It's something yeah. I want to do, but I'm going to have to go with mud riding because that's what I know, and I always have a blast doing it. I just mm -hmm. hate the aftermath of cleaning. Right. But right. it's so fun in the moment, just flying through mud yeah. pits. and. Yeah, I, oof, that's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with actually sand duning. I like the mud too. Mud's fun, but you're right. It's I've been in enough mud. I don't like it. <laughs> right. I don't like the cleanup. It is yeah. fun, though. We have a lot of fun. Such a pain in that to clean up and get <laughs> yeah. out of your seals and your differentials and you know plus not to mention the stench. You know that's where <laughs> sand dunes. It's like that's high horsepower. That's jumping. That's flying through the air. That's adrenaline pumping. That I think I think the sand dunes would be pretty sweet. Would you rather have a two door UTV or four door? UTV? Two seater two all day. Seat, yeah, two. So like I've talked to people about this too, because a lot of guys and like even people who are involved with dealerships, they mm -hmm. prefer the four seater because like they've been riding for years and years, and now they got their family with them. So sure. they're like, all right, four seater, more space. But yep. for me, I want that sport race feel in the yeah. UTV. I'm gonna go two seater for that reason. Yeah, I always my mind mentality is off road performance. Yep. So I'm always thinking about like break over angles, approach angles, departure angles. And that four seater like gets that. so long that they yeah. get hung up very yeah, easily. Just, it, yeah, and then unless you build them up with bigger tires and all that, but yeah. you know, I look at like, okay, if I'm gonna go rock crawling with my UTV. You don't want a two seater. All I wanna get some that. ground clearance. Not too much that I'm screwing up, you know, screwing up my uh, center of gravity, but I think the two seater would be sportier and yep. I think it would be- It's more capable more for the off-road. oriented, yeah. so. Do you rather have a turbo machine or non-turbo? Turbo. turbo because go fast parts are fun. That's, that's it. Mm. Turbo for the win. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, not being familiar with the UTV scene, I think, I know for like off-roading, I prefer and lean a little bit more towards that reliability aspect, but I don't know how unreliable having a turbo in your UTV is, if that really screws things up or not really. I mean, it's- OEM specs, fairly reliable, but mm -hmm. like, 
if you're building it up for the dunes and you're trying to go as fast as possible, yeah. you're not gonna wanna maybe take that machine to some slow paced rock crawling. Yeah. So it all depends on what level of extreme you go with it. So but. factory, I would go with turbo, but I don't think I would modify just because I wouldn't wanna mess with the reliability maybe. All right, so this is gonna be the last question before the bonus question. Um, it's kind of like a three part. So the first one is either a no windshield versus half windshield. Half windshield. Yeah, I would say half windshield. Yep. I, I like a little blocker there. Yeah. And then you still get that. the breeze over it rather than just your wind, your face yeah. getting pelted with the wind. Well, I think about the trails up north here in Wisconsin where it's, you know, it's dust and mm -hmm. it's crap flying in your face yep. and, you know, little pebbles and rocks yep. and there's all different kinds of, you know, trail hazards like that that I really wouldn't want to be using my face with. Yep. You can tell I really don't know a whole lot about <laughs> UTVing. <laughs> or, <laughs> All right, what's the next so part? Ease into the next part, would you rather do a half windshield or full windshield? I'd still do mm. half, because I'd like the breeze coming over it. And like, do you machines get a lot of heat in them, so when you do that full enclosure, mm. and let's say you're riding in the warmer weather, then you're just killing all your possible cool down breeze. Right. Yeah, I think it would do half windshield warmer months and full windshield Full windshield months. in the cold, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. So it depends on the season, really, yeah. for that one too. Yeah. Bonus <laughs> question. Chick-fil-A or Popeyes? Probably Popeyes. I never go to Chick-fil-A, like ever. Mm. So I'm not I'm not like a diehard Chick-fil-A. Popeyes has some good crispy chicken. I honestly don't ever remember eating Popeyes. Dude, Popeyes is We don't even have a Popeyes around here, right? There's no Popeyes around here. Well, I'm new to the area, but we always had one yeah. in Madison. Is there really? I don't know where it is, but there is. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm actually going to be more interested in reading these comments because I want to see what other people, I want to see what these guys think. I want to, I want to see if they prefer Chick-fil-A or Popeyes because I've never, well, I don't we think still, I've ever had Popeyes. We still got to find out how they're doing even at the end of this video yet because we, we asked them right away. We gotta oh, how are you comments. doing? Oh yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, are you doing great? Better once they get their wheel and tire package from FunctionPowerSportsOffRoad.com. What is your name? Your Function, <laughs> FunctionPowerSports.com. <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> wasn't even a proper plug. All right, so that's what we got for you guys today on This or That with Josh yep. from Trail Built. Here's our special guest. That was fun. Heck yeah. yeah. I enjoyed doing this. Heck it yeah. Was, well, it was actually more of a learning experience about UTVs. But wait, there's more. I so thought make we wrapped sure it up right. <laughs> give this video a like, comment down below, let us know what you're picking in this or that between all our questions and then Chick-fil-A or Popeyes, yep. and let Josh know how you guys are doing today. Make sure to click that subscribe, and we appreciate you guys coming to watch. That's what awesome. we got for you today. Peace. All right. Thanks, guys.